Hi, everybody. This week's parasha, Parasha Pikudei, concludes the Torah's discussion of the building of the Mishkan in the desert, and it also, of course, concludes Sefer Shmot. At the very end of Parasha Pikudei, the Torah tells us the entire purpose of building the Mishkan, to bring Hashem's Shechina to the Jewish people, was fulfilled as Hashem filled the Ohom away, the Mishkan, with His glory, filled it with an Anan, a special cloud. The Torah tells us that this cloud was also used to tell the Jewish people, B'nai Israel, when they were supposed to travel from place to place, when the Anan used to rise up over the Omoe, that was a sign to break camp. And then the Torah tells us at the very end, And if the cloud did not go up, and they did not travel until it went up. That word and in English, or the letter vav, seems odd. The pasuk would have made perfect sense had it been, And if the cloud did not go up, they did not travel until that day. Why add the word and? Perhaps the Torah is telling us that there's sort of two levels in which we have a relationship with Hashem. The first level is the level in which we do that what we are told. When Hashem explicitly tells us what His will is, we do it. But the word and perhaps tells us there's another level. And that is that not only do we do what we're asked to do, we have a ratzon, a desire to do what we're asked to do. And that is what B'nai Israel felt. They didn't want to go anywhere, not just because the cloud didn't move, but because they knew being in Hashem's presence with the Shechina there was another level of intimacy. And that's what Hashem is trying to tell us to build in our own lives. When we have both doing what we're supposed to be doing and wanting to do that, then it's a state of chazak, chazak, v'nit chazek. It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat shalom, everybody.